Alright guys, today I'm not actually going to be showing you um, an entire full-fledged trick, but I want to give, um, you know, for the most part, a lot of like the beginners on this channel, just a little bit of advice or maybe a tip they can do um, to help them in case they make a mistake. So I will be posting an actual trick um, within the next few days, but for today I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice because obviously the holidays are coming up, which means you guys are going to be probably showing off some of your new card tricks to family and whatnot. And uh, let's see, oh, this is kind of a scenario where let's say you'd mess up, um, but the trick doesn't have to end there in, you know, the whole awkward screw up of the card trick or whatever. So let's say, um, in this case, what I'm going over is kind of what to do if you mess up with a double lift. So obviously for the most part, a double lift is going to be you lift two cards up and you go ahead and you put this into the middle and then you snap your fingers and it does the whole rising card effect. And obviously you've been doing a lot more, um, let's say like, Let's say you want to uh, double lift for like the ambitious card routine or whatever, but today I'm going to be showing you a little tip that you can actually do to make this a lot better in case you mess up. So in essence, let's say you want to do double lift, but you ended up doing a triple lift. So what you could do, in this case, let's say you have the king of spades, you do a triple lift, you put this into the middle, and then what happens is, let's say you snap your fingers, and you didn't realize that you did a triple lift, and you flip over the card, and this isn't the spectator's card, obviously. So what you could do is actually I'm gonna teach you guys how to do something called uh, the shape shifter really quick. But essentially, um, let's say you did triple lift on accident and uh, you're staying there. This, this is obviously not the spectator's card, but you want to make this into the trick still. So what you could do is as you show them the card as the spectators, you're obviously, you know, you're staying there. What you could do is say, all right, you know, well, you know what? This isn't your card. And what you have to do is come over to your deck here. And as they're focused on the nine of spades or whatever card it is, you push over you get a break here, and I know this isn't necessarily a beginner thing, but you just all you have to do is push over with your thumb, pull that card back, you get a pinky break, just like this. The spectators are not going to notice what's going on. And what you can do is you can say, you know what, well, um, I know this wasn't your card, but hold on, let's see if we can find it still. And what you do is as you have this card, you put this card onto the break, back to back, and then what you're going to do is a shapeshifter. Now, in uh, reality, the shapeshifter kind of looks like this. You're shaking the card, and then it's going to appear as theirs, but I can make this... A little more simple for you guys so this is going to work 100% of the time let's say you screw up your double lift and you want to keep the trick going what you can do push over on the side put the card on top and what you want to do is you want to get your hand in this angle so you have the card in a mechanic scrape or whatever and you come over you take the edge over here with your thumb and you get the card in this position where your thumb is at the bottom right corner and your middle is at the top left and all you're doing essentially is you can bend this card a little bit. This is now two cards. You just pull this card around with your index, and that is the change that's going on in the shake change. But to make this a little bit easier for you guys, you really you, there's no way you can screw this up. All you have to do is say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and throw your card up, and all you're doing is pulling your hand back. This is going to go above their head, so you wave up your hand all the way up towards your head, and as they can't see the card, so you flip this out of their view, they can't see it, you flip it up, and all you're doing is while they're not looking at the card, you just flip this double over, and just like that, you've come back down, and it's magically their card. So in my or in my opinion, this could work better even than a shake change, um, but the shake change does look really good because it is right in front of the spectator, so um, there's two ways you can go with that, but that is kind of my little tip because like I said, I know the holidays are coming up. I know you guys are going to be wanting to perform tricks to your spectators, and you if you screw up a double lift, you know, obviously it's a super simple move, but it does take some practice. Instead of doing that, instead of messing it up, you can actually just do, you know, the shake change or whatever. You put that on top, put that on the brake. You can shake it. You put it above their heads, flip it while they're not looking, and it turns your simple double lift into an even more, even to like a better card trick. So, like I said, I'm also going to be posting another video soon, another actual trick, but this is just kind of my tip for beginners. Anyways, guys, this is the video. Hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.